Hi, uh, I'm S.J. Lang, and um, we're in the studio today, and uh, with the coronavirus, uh, I think all of us, artists included, have got a lot of extra time on our hands, and so I wanted to share with you uh, something that I've been kind of playing around with. Um, this is a coil construction uh, piece, which is what I use when um, I make the pieces I do, or sometimes I use slabs. Uh, but anyway, this is coiled, um, and it's just sort of a free-form shape, something really different for me. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share a bit of start one um, that's going to have three areas on the bottom. So um, I wanted to show you um, how I've done this. So uh, anyway, just wanted to share this part with you so you could see uh, something finished, and then I'll show you starting from the beginning. Okay, so I've rolled out the coil. As you can see, I've scored it. Uh, so I'm just going to begin by laying it down uh, on this surface. And I'm going to watch the edge because I really want it to be right uh, really on the edge. This will be a crimp because I want that to turn. Again, scored surface to scored surface. Go on around and crimp again. And all the way around to here. And that's a little bit of extra, excuse me. And uh, put some slip on uh, these two surfaces that go together. And that's how I'm going to start. And I want to kind of push this in to be sure that it's even around these edges. Pull it out if I need to. This, roll this out, push this in, and then what I'm going to do is to, and I'm not going to show the whole thing, but what I'm going to do is use my thumb to go around and attach it on the inside, and I'm probably going to uh, pull down a little from the bottom around like this all the way around. I'll do that inside and out and then when we come back I'll show you how I actually kind of pull it up because I think that's the part that most people don't uh, maybe don't understand is how does it go from here to what it turns into. So, Okay, as you can see I've added the coil. Um, I've smoothed the inside and I'm starting, I've kind of smoothed around the outside um, and what I'm going to do is start raising the side, and this is what I've done right here. And you can see that it's uh, thinner and higher than the rest of this. And uh, excuse me, I'm going to jump right in front here. Um, but what happens is I put one hand on the inside and the other one, and starting at the bottom, the bottom is the toughest uh, because you have, you know, just you don't have a lot of room to work in. Um, but what I continually do is to pull uh, this up until I get it, till it's an even thickness. Uh, the height will vary depending on the thickness of the coil. It's okay if it's not uh, perfect. Um, but anyway, I do that to start to raise this up, as you can see. And um, I'll go ahead and do this coil and then maybe put on another coil um, so you can see the process of building it up. But then I'll also show you how I build it out because the form is not, it's not just a tube. Uh, it does have some uh, fullness in it. Um, okay, I wanted to show you, uh, this is what it looks like so far after adding two coils. Um, but the coils were quite large, and so the larger the coil, of course, the higher you can bring it up. And you can, if you start to look at the contour of the side, you can sort of see how it's uh, more flat in some areas and then pulled out in others. So this will be where the area kind of bows out. Um, and I kind of worked some of these areas because when I burnish this with the stone, I'll be actually rubbing over this surface. So if it's so tight in here that I can't get into it with the stone, then that's going to be a problem. So, um, but anyway, this is it with two coils. So um, I'll add some more coils and um, show you how the shape continues. Just wanted to check back in and let you see 
Uh, what's happened with the last two coils I've added, um, you can see some of the contours uh, starting to shape, um, bow out, slope inward. Um, not 100% sure about it, but as you can see, it's plenty wet, so there's time to uh, perfect this, uh, keep going. But uh, anyway, just wanted to let you see so far. Okay, this is uh, after adding two more coils, and now you can uh, see the sculptural aspects of it starting to take form a little um, more so. Uh, and this is using, or is taking a lot of clay, uh, and it is heavy. You can, I don't know if you can see, but this is a pizza pan. I had to transfer it to, uh, it's too large for my banding wheel. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try uh, filming, uh, doing the scoring, adding the coil, and pulling it up so you can really see the process um, a little bit better. Okay, I've added uh, another coil. You can see I scored the coil and scored uh, the pot right here, put the slip on. It actually took two coils uh, to cover the surface, and now... Uh, what I'm doing is I just go around. I have to do this twice uh, on the outside and twice on the inside uh, just to be sure that the coil is attached like there's a big space right here so I have to push this down some. Um, but I do that before I start pulling it up. So that's one time. And what I'll do again is just go around you know, again, like this, just to smooth it out some, <clears throat> because I pull it up from the outside in some spots and then from the inside uh, in other areas. I'm pulling it from the inside on where the deepest parts of these curves are, because I want this to come outward. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to show you how. And on the inside, again, it's the same thing. I would go around on the inside like that. And then again, uh, do that. And actually, what I'll go back and do is really smooth this on the inside where you can hopefully see that. Um, and I'll smooth it again once I have it pulled up. But let me just start uh, right here, pulling this part up so that you can see. And what I do is put one hand on the inside, pretending that I've done this twice inside and out. Um, but what I'll do is use uh, just my fingertips, really, and you just have to, have to feel the thickness of the clay to see, uh, you know, how thick it is wherever it is that I'm pulling. And I'm also looking at the direction that I'm wanting this to go this way, so I'm going to be pulling it this way. For example, on the inside in here, I'm going to be pulling this the opposite way once I get it. I'll pull together, I'll be pulling it outward this way because that's how I do the forming of it or the contouring, I guess, of the of the form. So, and I do this around uh, like this and then I go back, once it's all done, I go back and kind of smooth all this out and then look at the, the overall slope of it and then I go back on the inside and I pull and smooth it on the inside to ensure that uh, the slope, uh, whether it's coming inward or going outward, is doing what I want for it to do. Uh, this is uh, what I've ended up with. Uh, the center area, as you can see, is closed in now, so it's just thin um, areas between these three forms. and. Um, I've got some sanding to do and some scraping. There are a couple of lumps here and there that I'll work on. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the video. Um, this needs to be sanded. It needs to be burnished and then fired. But it's so much clay that it's going to, by the time it dries, um, who knows what will be going on with the coronavirus. And I was trying to do this um, so you could see some new things. So... Um, this will be what's shown, and then there'll be, uh, I'll show, I'll post more once I get.